<laughs> Good news, Your Highness. This evening I will carve the Duke into an attractive piece of furniture with some excellent dental work. Your Highness. <laughs> Your Highness. Oh! Oh, thank God it's you, Blackadder. I've just had word from Wellington. He's on his way here now. Ah, that's awkward. The Duke must believe from the very start that I am you. Yeah, well, well, any ideas? There's no alternative, sir. We must swap clothes. Oh, fantastic. Yes, dressing up. I love it. <laughs> it's like that story, uh, The Prince and the Paupers. And the pauper. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. The Prince and the Paupers and the Pauper. Yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Why, my own father wouldn't recognise me. Your own father never can. He's mad. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Unfortunately, sir, you do realise that I shall have to treat you like a servant. Oh, I think I can cope with that. Thank you, Blackadder. And you'll have to get used to calling me Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. <laughs> no, just Your Highness. Your Highness. That's what I said. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. <laughs> yes, let's just leave that for now, shall we? Complicated stuff, obviously. Big Nose is here. But what? Who? Where? How? Don't even try to work it out, Baldrick. Two people you know well have exchanged coats and now you don't know which is which. I say, I'm pretty confused myself. Which one of us is Wellington? <laughs> Wellington is the man at the door. <gasps> and the porpoise? <laughs> Hasn't arrived yet, sir. We'll, we'll just have to fill in as best we can with that. <laughs> sir, if you would let the Duke in. Certainly, Your Highness, Your Highness. <laughs> and you better get out too, Baldrick. Yes, Your Highness, Your Highness. <laughs> if only they had a brain cell between them. No. The Duke of Wellington! Have I the honour of addressing the Prince Regent, sir? You do? Mm. Congratulations, Highness. Your bearing is far nobler than I've been informed. <laughs> Have it once, sir, unless you wish to feel my boot in your throat and be quicker about it than you were with a door. Yes, my lord. I'm a duke, not a lord. <laughs> How are you trained? A dago dancing class? Should I have my people thrash him for you, Highness? Um, no, he's very new. At the moment, I'm sparing the rod. Yeah, fatal error. Give him an inch, and before you know it, they've got a foot. Much more than that, you don't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> no, sir. To business. I'm informed that your royal father grows ever more eccentric, and at present he believes himself to be a small village in Lincolnshire, <laughs> commanding spectacular views of the Neen Valley. <laughs> I therefore pass my full account of the war on to you, the Prince of Wales. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. We won. Signed, Wellington. <laughs> Was there anything else? Two other trifling affairs, sir. The men had a whip round and got you this. Well, what I mean is I had the men roundly whipped until they got you this. <laughs> it's a Cigarillo case, engraved with the regimental crest of two crossed dead Frenchmen emblazoned <laughs> on a mound of dead Frenchman motif. <laughs> Thank you very much. And the other trifling thing? Your impending death, Highness. Oh, yes, of course. Mine like a sieve. Mm, I cannot deny. I'm looking forward to it. Britain has the finest trade, the finest armies, the finest navies in the world. And what do we have for royalty? A mad kraut sausage sucker and a son who can't keep his own sausage to himself. <laughs> the sooner you're dead, the better. You're very kind.